I am uh, Carlos Enrique de Brito Cruz. I'm a physicist and I am the scientific director for the Sao Paulo Research Foundation. The Sao Paulo Research Foundation is a foundation funded by the taxpayer in the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil and it has the mission to support research projects and fellowships led by uh, PIs, principal investigators, in the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil. The foundation operates since 1962. We are funded through a special kind of legislation in the sense that the constitution of the state has an article stating that 1% of all state revenues belong to this foundation. And this is important because it allows the foundation to have uh, budget stability and predictability so that we can engage in long-term programs like five years or ten years or even more in some cases. The foundation is supposed to fund research in all fields, from arts and literature to biochemistry, optics, photonics, astrophysics. And we have a strong and growing program in optics and photonics related themes. We have, for example, two centers that we support. One of our programs supports centers for up to 11 years of funding. We have two of the, of the 17 centers that we support, which are in optics and photonics. One of those is in um, uh, atomic cooling and high resolution measurements and uh, laser applications to cancer treatment. And another one is in optics and photonics as related to nonlinear optics and materials uh, developed for optical communications, for high speed optical communications. We also have, as a spin off of one of those centers, a center for biophotonics in which the scientists, uh, there are scientists from the physical sciences and from health sciences, they work in imaging systems, studying uh, cell uh, science, cellular science. Um, the foundation supports a good number of uh, students, postdoctoral fellows, PhD students, master students, and uh, an important part of our strategy at the foundation now is to develop uh, international research connections which involving the scientists in the state of Sao Paulo. Most of the students uh, to which we award fellowships are from Brazil, but they do not actually have to be from Brazil. And uh, because of this strategy of developing international connections, we have seen a steep increase in the number of uh, postdoctoral fellows coming to Sao Paulo, funded by FAPESP, which originate in other countries uh, different from Brazil. For example, in physical sciences, about 34% of the postdoctoral fellowships that we award every year are for persons who come from outside Brazil. In the field of photonics, uh, the, the main area in which there were relevant successes in Brazil is uh, optical communications. We have now a number of companies that manufacture uh, devices, amplifier, repeaters and so on and those are becoming international companies uh, for, for example, multi-terahertz communications, WDMs and so on. Uh, so this is one of the examples of, of uh, successful research. The climate for science in Brazil uh, is pretty good. I think you can say that. There is uh, uh, the, the funding for research in academic uh, environments and in industrial environment has been climbing, I would say, for the last 20 years. Uh, we have uh, an increasing intensity of connections between academia and industry. Uh, universities have uh, very frequently not only research projects like two or five year research projects done together with industry but now we are starting to have a good number of actual research centers which are located in a university and are run by the university and a company for example. Uh, 
uh, and especially Brazil is a very heterogeneous country. There are many different parts of Brazil. So I should say that especially in the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil, which is the state that responds for about one third of Brazil's GDP, uh, there is a strong governmental support for research and industry is very active in, in research. So much so that, for example, half of the scientific articles published by Brazilian authors come from authors in the state of Sao Paulo in Brazil.